I've been involved with Christian media for a long time in, in the governance space. Um, we've long felt that the, the lack of an open house program meant we were missing something. We were missing an opportunity to have conversations that we couldn't really have anywhere else. And I mean, in our own Christian media, and also particularly in, in the media world in Australia generally. A place to have those conversations that can go to a deeper place, um, to have conversations that can ask different questions that other media are not asking, and a place where we can quite, you know, quite literally aim to be a life-changing influence and a culture-changing influence. I started out as, a, as a, a, a young man with a passion to be in radio and a passion to do news and current affairs talk radio. In the 80s, I was given the opportunity, an amazing opportunity, I was in my early 20s, given the opportunity to be one of the pioneers of the news talk format in Australia. Um, and I did the drive time program on 2GB, News Talk it was called in those days. We were the first commercial all talk radio station, all news and current affairs. And we were really pioneering something. It was a very exciting time to be in radio. I've had a, a long time since then because of the various other careers I've had um, to reflect on the whole role of radio in our society. And I've really come to believe strongly that community radio generally and Christian community radio in particular are coming into their own now in the 21st century as media that we have to have in order for our democracy to be strong, in order for us to have those, those great conversations that go to deeper questions than you'll get elsewhere. Well, I was a very tenacious interviewer, and I think one of the features of our program, the Sundown Rundown, was that I'd get the Premier or the Prime Minister or whatever, you know, whoever on. It was a very, there's a lot of politics in the program, and no one else was doing that at that time of the day. Uh, we'd get them on, and I'd ask them a question, and I'd keep pursuing the question until I got to an answer. Um, so, you know, it became a, a contest between me and the interviewee. Uh, I'm still tenacious, I still want to get to the truth. But what happened in my mid-twenties while I was still in my broadcasting phase um, was that I became a Christian. I, I accepted the truth about Jesus and what he did. And I'm still tenacious about the truth, but I'm looking for a truth now that reflects a sense of God's truth. An interviewer is in a very powerful position, potentially, and to get somebody on the air, radio or television, and pursue them to the point where you make them embarrassed or make them squirm or in some way bring them down, it's not respectful, it doesn't help the debate eight times out of ten, nine times out of ten. Look, sometimes it is necessary and our society depends on robust seeking after truth. That doesn't mean robust destroying of individuals. So I think what changed for me when I became a Christian as a journalist back in my 20s was that I started pursuing the truth of an issue rather than my own perception of where I wanted to go to bring down that interviewee. Look, I think any issue is on the table. Open House is exactly that. And one of the things that Open House has always been very good at, and which I'm, especially given my background across you know, media, politics and so on, we're very keen on the idea that every subject is a subject that we ought to be able to analyse from a Christian perspective. Uh, and you'll hear perspectives on open house that you won't hear on other media. You'll hear a different way of looking at things. Everything from the very big moral questions of our time, and I don't need to go through all of those, they're well talked about, right through to daily politics or home, own, you know, home affordability or any issue that concerns human affairs, we think um, we deserve to explore what God might think about that and how we might, as, as his people, respond in love towards others to make the world a better place. The perspective that we'll bring in Open House will be this perspective of looking for a truth that's greater than our own society, our own culture, but a truth that goes to what God wants for us as people he made in his image, what God wants for us as a society that flourishes in a way that you know, gives honour and glory to him. If you watch a program closely, you will eventually see something of, get some understanding of the 
uh, perspectives that have informed the people who've put the program together. Mm. And most often we're not overt about those perspectives. Um, Christian radio is different because it says, well, we're coming from a Christian perspective. The difference perhaps between what we're doing on Open House, what we do in Christian media generally, and say a secular media organisation, um, is that we need to be godly in the way that we approach the people that we interview. The house rules are that it is open. It's an open place for conversation. Every perspective uh, is to be valued and is worthwhile unless, you know, unless it's obviously uh, something that, that's deliberately mean and nasty and defamatory and so on. There's no need for that sort of debate in Australia. But open house is a place for respectful debate. Open House is a place where we'll have lots of talkback calls. We want people to participate in the discussion. We don't want to hear only from people who agree with the people on the air. We want disagreement that produces an outcome that points us to a new truth, a truth about how God wants us to be as his people in his, in his world, the world he made. So, yeah, it's going to be robust, but it'll be respectful. It's going to be great fun. Thank you, Claire.